hello my name is Rubal Sikriwa and I am going to present you the CCNA interview questions and answers so the very first questions from our CCNA is going to be from OSI module the my first question is what is the full form of OSI the full form of OSI is open system interconnection the second question is list the layers of OSI module the layers of the OSI model are application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer the network layer and the data link layer and the last one is a physical layer now the next question is what are the functions of transport layer network layer and data link layer the function of a transport layer is as follows the first is it segments and reassembles data from upper layer applications and combine it into the same data stream it provides end-to-end -end data transport services it establishes logical connection between the sending host and destination host on an internet network it ensures data integrity at a transport layer by maintaining a flow of control so these are the function of a transport layer additionally I'm going to tell you something that the upper three layers application layer presentation layer and the session layer the three layers which we call it as a software layer also the last three layers that is a network layer data link layer and a physical layer these three layers we call it as a hardware layer okay and to establish a connection between software address software part and the hardware part I mean to say a software layer and a hardware layer we use a transport layer okay in a layman terms I'm saying the next is ours the function of a network layer what are the functions of a network layer the function of a network layer is as follows the network layer is a layer 3 okay it manages device addressing the meaning to say from device addressing is that a software addressing then you can ask me what is software addressing software addressing is something that is assigned using a software okay so the IP address which we are assigning on a PC or on a host is a software address for that device okay so this is a software address it second function of a network layer is it tracks the location of a devices on the network third layer, third function is it determines the best way to move data between devices that are not locally attached and the fourth is routers function at the network layer to provide the routing services within an internet network next is data link layer the data link layer the first function of a data link layer is it is responsible for a physical transmission of a data the second layer second function of a data link layer is it handles error notifications flow control the third is data link layer ensures that messages are delivered to proper device on a LAN using MAC address it translates messages from network layer into bits for a physical layer to transmit so the meaning of this line is that 
it takes the messages from network layer and data link layer is between the network layer and the physical layer so it takes the messages from a network layer this is our data link layer takes the message from this network layer and convert it into the bits okay and pass it to the physical layer the fifth function of a data link layer is that the data link layer formats the message into data frame and adds a customized header containing the hardware destination and the source destination so basically it is a hardware address what is a hardware address you will ask the hardware address is something we can say it as a mac address the mac address every device that available in a network has its own mac address and a mac address is a 48 bit okay so about a mac address we will see later so this is a software address i mentioned you earlier about the software address and this is a hardware address now the next question is uh, which layer is responsible for reliable connection the layer that is responsible for reliable connection is a transport layer here i am going to ask you a next question is that which layer is responsible for unreliable connection you should know the meaning of a reliable and unreliable reliable means on which we can rely or which on which we can trust unreliable means on which we cannot trust okay so there are uh, three types of a protocols that is present in a transport layer but the mainly we are here we here we will deal with the two uh, protocols the first one is a tcp okay we we will have some uh, videos on tcp and the udp also but here tcp and the udp i am going to explain you something uh, tcp sorry tcp and udp the tcp is a reliable connection okay has a reliable connection and the udp has not a reliable connection it does not have reliable connection okay it is unreliable in nature so, thank you very much thank you